Hey guys, it's Daniel here. I work at SciShow Collectibles as a sculptor and art director. And today I would like to share some tips with you. Let's begin. Okay guys, uh, what I have here, it is a kind of a um, hammer, axe, or axe hammer. I don't know the name of this exactly. But um, I would like to share with you some of the process I've used to create the grip. I'm going to, to tell you how I did this, um, the cores, the in, this interlaced cords. Let me show you. Okay, first we're going to insert a cylinder. Um, let's try to find the same volume that we have here. Something like this. Perfect. Um, let's, let's turn off all this subtools. Then we need to apply or insert or open, let better say, a Helix 3D. Um, and then I will bring here our cylinder. So we have a reference of uh, how tall this course should be. Then we need to go to initialize so we can we can uh, trick some of the settings of this helix first we're going to uh, set the radius i will read off at this point here in the middle just uh, moving out of this uh, w window here so now we have this shape like a uh, almost the same size of our cylinder then we're going to adjust coverage so let's say something like this and the thickness and for the thickness i'm going to lower this point and try to do it exactly the same on the other side double check that you have the same volume on the vertical side it says 1398 let's try to do exactly the same to the other side there you go uh, let's trick the radius just a little bit lower okay perfect okay now i'm going to press uh, make polymer 3d so we can unlock the rest of the options of the geometry i'm going to press shift f so i can see the polyframe and I will hide the rest of the sections because I will try to make a kind of a tile a tile of this section right okay there you go so now I'm going to delete hidden here or you can go to the geometry panel and um, use it like this geometry modify topology and then they're hidden. I'm just using my personal UI, but you can go like the normal way. You can use the normal way. Uh, okay, then I will press W, Control, Hold Control, click and draw. Release. And we have this. Copy it. Um, then I'm going to duplicate this subtool and I will go to deformation and press mirror. We are going to work in these uh, overlapping chords. So let's select move topological. You can press B, M, T. Then press Alt and push out, move out this. And in this section, just push in. This is out and in then press alt click on the other subtool so you can select it quickly without going to this palette and uh, do the opposite just push uh, push out push in and push out and push in right so you will have this kind of um effect of uh, in interlaced then we're going to do the same thing in the other side so let's just push out this is out this is in 
and in alt click on the other sub tool select it page in uh, it was, oh, I'm sorry this out is in and this out right so now we're going to merge both sections I just uh, go to sub tool menu merge down okay you have both the only thing we need to do first before copy the rest of, of these chords it's to hide and delete this section because uh, we're going to close and connect the holes later right we're going to keep this section with the control shift click and drag then drag outside to make the opposite selection right and the hidden and that's it we just simple uh, press W click drag and release but don't release a click because if you're going down you can keep coping using the same amount of distance so this is pretty useful thing then release and that's it so a quick way to uh, connect and, and well all these parts it is um we can go to geometry then to modify topology and well points of course we'll, we have to adjust the well distance first let's say uh, I, okay perfect and 10 it works perfectly and it is just one entire thing and if we if we want to check uh, if this uh, was well done weld we can press auto groups and just check if the entire thing is one solid thing which it is right then we can press close holes and this holes will be closed and um, yeah, pretty good okay now we are going to insert our uh, cylinder that was our base we're going to move move it like this and uh, we can adjust this perfect and then we can play with thickness uh, pretty easily like using in flat if you go to select your helix then go to deformation panel and just look for inflate put it like a, in a minor eight for example something i think it works perfectly and um, then we can scale it we can put this you can use a gizmo to uh, scale you can adjust the distance like uh, using an, an axis scale and now we can look for uh, this square shape that I showed you before instead of just being uh, like a, as a cylinder we can make a more uh, rectangular shape right okay thanks for the escape option of uh, the auto save guys thank you so much for that um, so you can do this uh, in a multiple ways right but uh, let's let's do like uh, like I did it so let me show you just merge down and put in just one sub tool both the chords and the main frame then press W uh, select the gear icon and press the former and um, you will get you will get this this is a former which is pretty awesome because you, you can uh, you can work with this uh, contour points and you will deform this shape right but um, if we're going to make it like a rectangular I think what we can do it is add another section click and press in this um, orange icon you're going to make sections so you have more contour points more contour points more control right uh, over the entire geometry I, I want to put just two sections and two sections like this then um, I will select this section in the middle click invert then I scale it and as you can see 
we are getting this uh, rectangular shape and I'm going to do the same for this section and scale it again so for rectangular shape you just select this section here and then push up and there you go then the only thing left it is to go to a gear icon again and press and uh, accept and that's it so now if you press ctrl D to make some uh, to add some subdivisions you're going to see uh, this looks pretty nice so uh, let's just select this thing here and uh, do a minor inflate so you get this it's pretty nice right pretty cool and another thing you can do to make these um, sections like a, with a better interaction between each other you can go and select one chord then damn standard and just try to pull this right so you're going to uh, create the effect of um, tension you can do it in, in every piece of course it takes some time but um, and I know we could do this before uh, but I think if we can if we can uh, work in every single one we're going to get a more natural shape and uh, the behavior will be different actually you can go and use the move topological brush and then you can move it just a little bit to add more variety right you can push it this and, and, and again you can control and select and you can go to Dime Standard or any other brush and just made this right you will get a better form and another thing we can do it is to add the texture so in order to do that first we need the UV maps and this is pretty simple you just uh, just go to C plugin UV master uh, click on polygroups and then unwrapped and it says this function is required that you be at the lowest division level plus go to one and try again which is I forget thank you for this guys we can try again and wrap and that's it it's pretty easy and quick now let's go to surface noise maker let's click on UB uh, press uh, click on color blend and put zero um, then select a texture perfect and I will put some I will put my mix basic noise on zero to scale down just a little bit more and I would add some uh, uh, strength and I will click more tiny texture something like this I think it's great okay click on okay and then I recommend I always recommend to use layers before apply a texture because if you want to change it or if you don't want any more or if you want it more uh, pumped with more intensity you can do that with layer without any 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 problems right so layer noise maker apply to mesh and I'm sure it looks pretty cool yeah it's pretty nice then turn off layer let's name it like a texture again texture and uh, um, let's try putting in two intensity so as you can see the effect it's more obvious so this is it guys um, I really hope you can find these tips useful and if you have any questions please let me know you can contact me through my social media and keep enjoying this cyber summit and i hope to see you next year but in person bye bye guys take care